We are very concerned with the food security situation in southern Madagascar, which has been uh, hit by the El Nino uh, phenomenon, uh, where indeed we have 1.4 million people currently food insecure in nine districts of southern Madagascar, 850,000 of them severely uh, food insecure. Uh, the situation is particularly worrying as we are still early in the lean season. The lean season should, st should start later, should start not before uh, November, December. Uh, in September, people were already resorting to negative coping strategies, uh, eating wild food such as red, red cactus uh, fruits, but also uh, being forced to sell uh, their belongings, selling their tools, uh, selling their animals, and even for some, selling their land. This is a very, very serious situation that requires immediate action. The situation we are currently facing in southern Madagascar is uh, essentially due to accumulation of drought seasons. We have seen the last three seasons have been particularly uh, dry and especially the last one uh, where in the context of the El Nino that has been affecting uh, southern Africa has been particularly uh, dry. So we have been an overwhelming uh, situation uh, there in southern Madagascar, which has led to massive uh, crop failure. Uh, we consider that for crops such as maize and cassava, uh, the, the reduction in yield has been of up to uh, 95%, which is almost uh, total failure, while we see also that there are many animals that have been dying uh, because of, of uh, these conditions. Well, we expect that with the coming season, if indeed farmers are equipped, have the capacity to go to their land, crop their land. We hope that with the rains that will come, uh, hopefully in the coming weeks, uh, they will be able to have an harvest in early uh, 2017, which should improve their situation. Over the short term, uh, we are going to attend to the most pressing needs of those uh, severely uh, food insecure uh, communities by providing them uh, with food assistance through uh, WFP, as well as in the meantime, supporting their agriculture-based livelihood uh, through, uh, for, ex for example, the supply by FAO of uh, seed varieties, but also of uh, agricultural tools and also with uh, support to uh, their uh, livestock activities by uh, taking care of the health of their livestock, providing feed uh, when needed. And then on the longer term, uh, working uh, towards uh, building the resilience of these communities so that they can not only recover from the current shock, but also be better prepared for uh, future sh similar shock that may happen. And, this, and when it comes to FAO, this will take the form of uh, support to the production of seeds uh, that are adapted to a drought condition, early maturing uh, varieties, but also uh, support to irrigation infrastructure and so on.